Hey guys, this is an update video uh, regarding my install and review of Void Linux that I did a couple of days ago. I installed and reviewed Void Linux, made a video about it uh, about two, three days ago. And for the most part, my review of Void Linux was very positive. I really like what they're doing. Independent distro, rolling release, doing its own thing, very unique, its own init, uh, init system. Uh, Libre SSL, its own uh, unique package manager, XBPS. Uh, pretty cool distro. I ran into a, a couple of minor annoyances though with the distro when I was reviewing it. Again, it was the very first time I had ever installed and ran Void Linux. That's why I titled the video Void Linux First Impression Install and Review because I wanted to come at it from that direction, you know, since I, you know, I don't want to take one of these Linux distros I've never looked at you know and live in it a week and then give you a review I want to come at it from somebody that's you know never touched it before and for the most part my review was pretty positive but I had a couple of issues with it and some of uh, some of our viewers you know pointed out some solutions to fixing the uh, the minor issues I had with Void Linux so I'm gonna go over that in this video the first thing I'm gonna discuss is uh, VirtualBox guest editions I really didn't have a problem uh, or a real gripe about the VirtualBox guest editions. You know, uh, every now and then I have a, a Linux distro that I have to fight with to get the VirtualBox guest editions installed. And sometimes I just don't even bother on these videos. I just go ahead and record them with that smaller screen res resolution. And uh, it's not that the VirtualBox guest editions are impossible to get installed. Obviously, they're not. I, I got them to work here as you can see I'm running a, a full screen resolution here in this video but uh, particularly on a distro like Void Linux rolling release you know what you don't see off camera after I, I did the install I ran a full system update that full system update for this rolling release took a long time then I tried to get the VirtualBox guesses additions installed and working there were some issues you know uh, things not working correctly you know some dependencies missing and you know I only have limited time sometimes on, on these days where I re review these videos uh, you know I may only have a, a block of time of an hour hour and a half set aside to do one of these videos so if it looks like I'm gonna have to fight with something like the VirtualBox guest editions I, I move on just so I can get the video recorded but it, it wasn't really that big a deal I know a lot of you guys were giving me pointers <clears throat> about the VirtualBox guest editions but really that wasn't a gripe. I mean I, if it came across like I was kind of griping about Void Linux's uh, VirtualBox guest editions it wasn't a big deal. There's There's been a few distros that I just recorded at that smaller screen resolution mainly for sake of time. Uh, if it looks like it's going to take me more than five or ten minutes to get the VirtualBox guest editions up and running I just move on because a lot of times again you know I'm pressed for time sometimes. Now moving on to one of my real gripes about Void Linux you know I mentioned the package manager the XBPS package manager and the slow download times for the package manager in my first impression install and review video I updated the system at, I, being a rolling release I wanted to do a full system update before I you know really reviewed anything so uh, it needed to update about 176 packages in that video not a lot of packages, 176 packages, you know, pretty normal update for a system. Say you went two weeks without updating it. Uh, that update, though, took 45 minutes. It took 45 minutes for it to download those packages. That was really slow. I mentioned in the video the mirrors were slow. You know, I probably needed to change the, the mirror list, find the mirror list, and update, you know, to a different mirror. A lot of you guys complained that I. You know, I should have just did that on the video or before the video. Again, it was a first impression install and review. Uh, just, I mean, a lot of my audience is in the U.S. You guys are going to install Void Linux. It's good that you see me experience those slow download times because it does use a European mirror by default. But I go to Void Linux, uh, their wiki page here, and they do have looks like six or seven different mirrors here from around the world and three or four of them are in the US 
A couple of them are, are reasonably cl close. One is in Atlanta, Georgia, about eight hours from where I'm at. Uh, another one is in Dallas, Texas, which is about five and a half hours from where I'm at. So I changed the that European mirror to the one in Dallas, Texas, and now the uh, download speeds for the package manager are great. I mean, it's it's real fast, uh, just as fast as using anything like Apt or Pac-Man or anything. So no problems with the XBPS uh, package manager once you change the mirror. Let me show you where that mirror list is for those of you that are going to need to update it. There are two places where the mirror uh, configuration lives on your system. The first one is in slash user slash USR slash share slash XBPS dot D. In that folder, you have these three files. Uh, this first one, the 00.repository-main.config file, what I did is I copied that file. You do not want to edit this file. This file is actually not supposed to be edited. The, uh, uh, this is for your package manager only. Nobody else is supposed to edit this file. So you copy this file. And then go to this folder, slash etsy, slash xbps.d. And in that folder, it's going to be empty. I copied this file into that folder, and then I opened that file. And it only had one line in it. It was repository equals, and then void linux.eu slash current. You know, it's that European mirror. I changed that to lug.utdallas.edu, you know, the mirror in Dallas, Texas. And then, you know, you fire up, you know, XBPS. Let me go ahead and fire it up here. Show you... Uh, these uh these download times here here I've got it with the font enlarged here so we need to log in as root of course su for super user type in my password I'm gonna do xbps dash install and let me install a package uh, that I don't think is already installed I don't think VLC was installed so I'm gonna install VLC you know not the smallest of packages just to show you the download time now Okay, it's got a few dependencies, you know, a little bit to, to download. Remember, it took me like four or five minutes just to download Firefox and install Firefox. One program, VLC has a little bit more to it than Firefox, and you can see how fast these download times are going. Uh, really quick, and it's done. So, that solved the uh, problem with the slow time for XBPS Package Manager. Also in that video, I mentioned there's no GUI uh, package manager. You know, I mentioned you know it may not be the best Linux distro for new users because I mentioned the install wasn't that user friendly. I also mentioned you know having to use a terminal package manager, a command line package manager. It's not the most user friendly thing either. New users are not going to want to do that at all. There should be some kind of GUI package manager installed, and I mentioned. I don't think one exists. I know one is not installed anyway on the system by default, and it's not. But some of you viewers out there that are familiar with Void Linux mentioned there is a graphical package manager, uh, a graphical front end to XBPS that you can install. And I did. It's called Octo, Octo XBPS. And I've already got it installed. I installed it from the command line. But Octo XBPS is a graphical front end to the XBPS package manager. Very similar to you know your other uh, graphical package managers like Octopi, which I'm assuming it, it's very similar since it's got the Pac, uh, Pac-Man symbol here. Oct Octo XBPS, very similar in name to Octopi. You know, very similar in, in look and feel to something like Synaptic Package Manager for those of you that are familiar with that in Debian and Debian-based distros. Uh, so pretty cool graphical front end to XBPS. I think this would be a lot better if it was installed by default. Again, for new users, they would be much more comfortable with something like this than using the command line. Interesting enough, uh, Octo XBPS here at the bottom bottom left of the screen here, 9,042 packages. That's how many packages are in the Void Linux repos. That's actually a pretty good number of packages. I mean, it's it's still you know not something like Debian or Arch, but that's not a bad number of packages to be listed in, in the repos. 9,042 packages, that's good stuff there. Anyway, I just wanted to quickly revisit Void Linux because 
again, I, I probably did shortchange Void Linux a little bit. I didn't give it the proper time for that review. Uh, I should have, you know, took a little time. I sh should have installed the VirtualBox guest editions to do a proper screen resolution, mainly for the benefit of our viewers here, you know. I'm reviewing it on that small screen resolution, you know. That's my fault. But uh, also, the mirror list situation and installing the graphical package manager, you know, I, I really wanted to make sure you guys knew that that graphical package manager exists. Uh, anyway, Void Linux, I told you guys I was going to keep it installed and run it for a little while, and I, I, I want to keep up with the development of this Linux distro, because I really think this, this is a big thing, you know, I, they're going places. This is a, a distro that is, uh, like I said, it's doing its own thing, so... Check it out. Peace, guys.